It's just that the flooding risk is starting to come down. But that heavy rain over Louisiana, that's going to be pushing into our east counties later today. So we still have the flash flood watch in effect until 7 o'clock tonight for Liberty County and Chambers County. Coming up next, I'm going to get you updated on our water levels because although the heavy rain has moved out for the majority of southeast Texas, we still have flood warnings in place. So we'll take care of that coming up next. Anavid? All right. Thank you, Brenna. 640 is now your time. Seeing a new situation can kind of see those flashing lights peeking out in the distance behind this tree. This is a live look at the East Freeway moving in the westbound direction, so inbound at Waco. So again, this is just a stall, not a crash. It's only blocking your right hand shoulder. Certainly something to watch out for though. Also something that you need to keep in mind is of course the fog. So really take your time as you're traveling into town this morning. This is a live look at the West Beltway traveling southbound as you're grabbing the 59 northbound connector ramp. Love yes, it. watching it very closely. So there's several rivers that are still under flood warnings and we're not anticipating crests until we get closer to Friday and this weekend. The Trinity River, San Bernard River, also um, looking, you know, portions north moving into Walker County. So just watch out for these swollen waterways. With our partnership with Harris County Flood District, I do want to pull up what's going on in Waller County and Northwest Harris County. Little Cypress Creek and also Three Mile Creek are still out of bank, but the water is dropping and we're going to be in bank within 24 hours. Meanwhile, Caney Creek and also Peach Creek are also still flooding. So just make sure that you stay away from these swollen waterways. This is a look at Peach Creek at FM 2090. That one is actually still rising. So this is going to be an area closer to Splendora that you really still need to stay on top of your A game, especially because we could still see rain as we go into the afternoon, especially east of Interstate 45. Now the flooding risk in the metro area is definitely dropping. We are looking good, but we are waking up to fog. This is a live look over the Med Center, which actually is seeing some improvements, but it's still very thick south and southwest of the city. I mean, Sugar Land, you're sound, still down to about a quarter of a mile in your visibility. So please use your low beams, take it slow if you're waking up west and southwest of downtown. Temperature wise, we're cool in the 60s. It's going to be warm and muggy today, topping off in the 80s, and we have a 40% chance of an afternoon thunderstorm. We have really seen a movement in the positioning with that upper level low. That's good news for most of southeast Texas, but we still have that heavy rain over Louisiana and that band of rain and also just with the development that we're anticipating later today still has some focused attention for our east county so liberty county chambers county y'all are still under a flash flood watch until 7 p.m tonight but we have removed that threat of flash flooding for the metro area between now and sunday we're still anticipating several inches of rain possibly three to four to the east of interstate 45 what's happening is that upper level low that created the flooding concerns is lifting off to the north at the same time this ridge of high pressure is pushing off to the west West, and that also is taking that conveyor belt of moisture into West Texas. But we're still kind of under that line, so we're not going to be dry, but we're at least going to lower the threat of flooding. Today, a 30% chance of afternoon storms here in the metro area. The majority of you will be dry dealing with heat and humidity. Our storm chances, though, are actually going up for Friday and Saturday. Not going to be a washout, but we will have afternoon thunderstorms that are going to get in the way. So just have an indoor option ready to go. As we go into next week, that's the real dry out time frame and it's going to be warm and steamy typical Houston weather as we go into next week. Anavid, I know you're tracking those soupy conditions. I mean, look at the beltway. Talk about yeah. needing low beams, right? Mm hmm. So yeah, use those low beams and slow down. Something also to mention about the South Beltway at Gessner is you can kind of see those flashing lights there behind the light pole. There's a new crash, first crash actually of the morning as you're making your way in the eastbound direction. So watch out for that on that entrance ramp at Gessner. The KD Freeway at Barker Cypress looking good in terms of any incidents, but of course, fog still present there. Same story for the Tomball Parkway at Spring Cypress. You just got to be extra vigilant out there. Looks a little bit better there near Spring Cypress, but as you move closer to Luetta, it just looks a little bit more soupier. Speaking of the Tomball Parkway, traveling west and north of the Grand Parkway on 2920, there's some high water spots that I'm still tracking there, according to Houston Transdar, just between Holly Creek. Trail and Park Road. So